our praise. We sing our praise to the one we love. I think there's a power behind songs written for the church and for the congregation that you're in. I mean, yeah, we believe that God wants to have send these songs across the world, but I think in our home church that, I mean, to have a song birthed in the season that we're in and then send it forth to the congregation and let them take, it's like a prophetic act. That's the goal in mind, is, you're, is you're, you're trying to capture the move of God, the revival that's happened here, and put it in a form where people can easily sing it, easily share it, easily uh, pray and, and prophesy using those, those songs. Response without revelation, it's just an emotional experience. What is the atmosphere that's ripe for every service that someone has a revelation of God as they're worshiping? because those are the points where you no longer have to be there. I don't have to be on that stage directing anybody in worship. People just begin to, they get a revelation of God and then they begin to just call out who God is and, and speak things in the atmosphere and begin to worship Him. And one of my favorite songs on the album is I Wanna Know You. And it's just speaking straight out of scripture, the word. And when you do that, there's, there is a revelation that happens because the Word of God is living and active and it's sharpening double-edged sword. And when you speak it forth, when, no matter if you sing it or if you, if you speak it, there's power that's happening as you do it. 